These were delivered to our wardroom this morning. Looks like a warning to me. Ooh. Hit a snag in the investigation. Ralph. Smythen. All right. So why'd you get them, Honks? Most people don't know the difference between Section 1 and 3. I suppose thanking you is in order. There's something you're not telling me. Section 1 is the War Ministry's top public safety organization. You've seen the evidence, but you're still investigating while we've been down there arresting the dealers. Playing nice, Conry? Hardly. Excuse me, Captain. Major Connery! Sir, our unit searched everywhere you told us to. However, we still couldn't find the documents, sir. So what documents were you looking for, Connery? It's always a game with you. You're gonna try and revoke his bail? I'd rather give this a try than just keep on arresting him. I'm not sure it's really going to work, though. Good grief. I feel for the LT, you know what I mean? Hmm? Stop! <laughs> what is it? Huh? Hey! Mariel! Okay, don't scare me like that. <laughs> I thought it was you. Uh, hi. You remember me, don't you? I'm the guy who gallantly saved you from those waterworks guys and only asked for your name in return. I am Sub-Lieutenant Oreldo. Oh, yes. I remember you. You tried to touch me and had a creepy look in your eye. Huh? Uh, I'm weak. I know it. Listen, it's okay, really. Huh? Well, thank goodness. <laughs> you cut your hair, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you're even cuter than last time, you know? Huh? Well, I... I... I'm glad to hear it. I can't believe the man is giving me a compliment. So, um... The way I had them cut my hair, it... Uh, it... It really looks okay to you? <laughs> you are absolutely beautiful, Marielle. There's your down payment. Take it, old man. The rest will be a loan, okay? What the hell are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm buying your daughter. You need cash to feed your Hamel habit, don't you, old man? I'm no fool, damn it. What kind of father would sell his girl like that? Yeah, right, Pops. She's already selling off her hair for you. Self-sacrifice just gets me all hot and bothered. You're one lucky dad, you know that? Makes me wonder what else she has for sale. What are you doing, Geraldo? Stop it! Stop! That's over the top. Time for the main event, people. You don't mind if we do this here, do you? No! Stop it! <laughs> Shut up! You're my property now, and I'll get those stop clothes off. No! No! Stop it! Stop what I said! Oh! No! Huh? This chick's pretty hot. Let me have a piece of that. Dude, what the heck? You are so on your own. Oh man, that was beyond lame. Maybe... Get out of here! You can't watch the show for free, you know! That's right, you're all penniless, aren't you? You can't see the show if you're broke, people! No working, no money, right? What a bunch of losers you guys are! <laughs> and let the show start, Ringmaster! Pull up a seat, Pops, I'll let you watch for free. No, stop it! Get off of her, oh, you yeah. bastard! Go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, 
Now you decide to act like a father. Everyone here knows you'll be begging me for this deal tomorrow. Looks like you'll always be a junky old timer. Can the hero crap. Shut up! I lost everything during the war. You don't know a damn thing about me! Marielle is the only part of my life that hasn't been taken away! We're not losers, you stuck-up sons of bitches! You got something else smart to say? Yeah! We'll work, damn it! We could start right now if we wanted to! What do you think of that? We're gonna work! I'll do anything for my daughter, even getting out of this dump! I'm not a judge, yeah. you hear? <laughs> the hell are you grinning at? You better listen to me, boy! I can work any time! You hear me? Hey, boss? Are you here? Hey, Mr. Mion? Huh? Mr. Mion? <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? <gasps> What's all this? Looks like they've been fighting. We, we beat, beat each, each other, other up, up Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Captain, someone's here who wants to testify in the Himmel investigation, testify? sir. So anyway, once every two weeks, the boss clears out the office and threatens to fire anyone who comes back. And the next day, we usually have a new inventory of product to sell. I'm not sure, but I think that's the day his supplier comes in. Lieutenant! Right. If we catch me on at the drop-off point, we've got him. When's the next Himmel shipment coming in? <sighs> Tell me. It's probably gonna be tonight. Uh. Uh. Oh. I was just a punk on the street. No job, no future, no hope at all. I used to have to steal food just to stay alive. I didn't want to, but it was the only way I could eat. I was down and living like a rat. Mr. Mion, he took me off the street. Me and all the other guys I worked with were just like me. I knew he was using us, but I really didn't care. I guess guys like me always have to live like rats, right? Right now, I'm selling out the only friends I have and sneaking behind their backs. I guess the only thing I'm good for is scurrying around on the streets and sewers looking for someone else to turn my back on, right? I'm always gonna be a goddamn lowlife! And I'll never be anything except a rat! <laughs> no, you're not. Huh? You've become a pair of scissors. I'm a scissor? That's right. Use of force, abuse of power, stockpiles of money. These are the layers of protection that Albert Mion has woven around himself to make the post-war period worse for people like you. By coming forward, you are the blade that sliced through all of those layers of corruption, Metz. From this day forward, don't ever think that you'll never have a chance to make your life better. You understand? Even a rat's fangs are sharp. We're moving out! Uh, from one mild butt-kicking to a severe butt-kicking. Great. Wait! Aren't you gonna arrest me? Sorry, but the drug deal's first. Just go ahead and turn yourself into the police for me, if you would, please. You ready to go? Yes, ma'am. You've gotta be kidding. Turn myself in? What the hell makes you think I'm not gonna run? Damn it! I just can't. Alice. I know you need all your people, but I have to borrow Rolda for a little while. I've got a job for him. Uh, you mean me? You've got me? a friend in Section 1, am I right? Huh? Uh, Off the record. Uh-huh. We're all set. What's that? I'm settling this tonight for the last time. 
Um, Lieutenant? Huh? If we come across the high-temperature trooper again, I'd like your permission to engage him, ma'am. Uh Please, Lieutenant! Negative, Oland. Huh? You're hiding something from me, and I don't appreciate it. But, Lieutenant, shouldn't I be the... No, you shouldn't. I'll handle it this time. Section 3, it's time to roll out! Roger! We've been expecting you, Emissary. All of us stand in humble and silent service to the Silver Wheel. 